Yo, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I want to talk about working on the video I just dropped for Nicki Minaj. I came across the fact she wants to change the Barb's to the kingdom. She wants to rename her fan base, and the Barb's ain't having that shit. This actually could have been predicted because you have a strong fan base that does rock with you hard, but they built an identity around this name that has been in place for some years now. It's understandable that Nicki, especially when you look at her third phase transition from the whole Barb look to being that just mature woman and kind of and more reserved probably thinks it's a natural evolution of her brand and she wants her fan base to evolve with her but it's just not a great way to do it so here's one way to do it you have a fan base that has been a part of your journey and been following you maybe allow them be a part of choosing the new name or at least just bring up the ideas to them what they think and what the new name might be so they continuously feel a part of your journey I actually don't like that option but that's an idea you want to make sure that that what you do actually fits into an overarching long-term strategy. So just letting fans choose something random might not be the best idea. So I'm going to go through a strategy that could have made her transition into a new name for her fan base a lot less painful for everybody and anybody can use this. Quick story. I got a homeboy named Marcus that I've known for years and somewhere around high school I start calling Marcus Marquisha. It was just like a joke. So I'm going around bothering him all the time just saying what up Marquisha, what up Marquisha. But one day I guess Marquisha became too long for me and I just started calling him Quisha. He would actually answer when I called him this stuff by the way but it was kind of more so his way of just acting like he wasn't bothered at all until I stopped. Probably didn't realize how persistent I was. But the point is, one day all of a sudden just hit me that while Marquisha was kind of like a play on his name, Quisha, to anybody hearing it for the first time, would be like, who in the world is that? Because it sounds in no relation to Marcus. But what's your point though? My point is, Nicki Minaj should have had a transition period of some sort where maybe she did Barb's Kingdom or Barbie Kingdom, some kind of nuance where for a while she could brand it as that and it just sounds like, hey Barb's, I just want y'all to know that y'all are royalty. And then eventually in a few months or next year, she just starts calling them the kingdom as shorthand. And then next thing you know, nobody's actually thinking about Barb's as something that doesn't exist anymore, has been killed off. It's just a natural evolution that happened with zero pressure at all because you're not going to keep people from using the term ever again anyway but that's it I thought that was a perfect instance to kind of bring up a strategy that you guys might use in your own free brands for your art or whatever else you got going on y'all know what to do hit that subscribe button